Hey, it's Mallory with Let's Make Baskets. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to get started on the mini nest. I'm excited about this kit. It is a great starter kit. Um, it's an easy kit to do with kids. So um, I really hope you enjoy this one as much as we do. Let's take the material out of your kit. You should have round reed in there and uh, you can cut it before you put it in the water or after. I recommend after once everything is flexible. So put all the long reed either in your bathtub or the kitchen sink and fill it with water. You should let it sit there for about 20 minutes until it's very flexible and then it will be ready to use. So as soon as your material is ready to use, uh, hit play again and we'll get started. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at what our project will look like. They look a little bit like this. This one's a little rough around the edges, but uh, looks truly like a bird's nest. Um, this one is a little bit bigger and has a little bit more of a finished top. We are going to take this one step further um, and really finish it off nicely. But you will see a little bit of variation in this design um, and that's the intent. Everybody gets to make their own and it's completely reflective of your sense of style. So. Uh, first off, this is the material. We have rattan reed. It is round reed, uh, number three in diameter. Um, and this is a, a tan color that we're using tonight. So this is the material that we're going to be using for the spokes as well as for the weaver. Right now we're going to separate, we have eight total pieces. They are 18 inches long. I'm going to separate them into two different groups. I'm going to line up the ends. And this is my first group of four. Straighten those out a little bit. And this is my second group of four. Awesome. So I have two groups. I am going to just cross them one over the other, right about in the center. And once I have that, I am going to grab my weaver. Again, the same material that we're using. This piece is probably, oh, I don't know, eight feet long or so. Um, and I am just going to use it until either A, it runs out, or B, uh, the basket is big enough that I feel like I can cut it and finish it off where it is. So um, we are going to take the weaver and place it under the bottom group of spokes. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of a tail there so I know where I started. Um, and that way it doesn't come loose during the weaving. All right, now we're ready. Grab the weaver and pull it over the next group and then go under the group following. And I'm just going to continue around in an over under pattern three times around the base. All right, and approaching the tail there. So I've gone three times around. That is my base that's set. So I like the shape of it. I like how tight it is. Um, there are little holes here. You could tighten it up so that you can't see through it at all. Uh, I'm good with this. So I am going to go to the next step. Next step, I'm going to take the spokes and I'm going to just slightly bend them so that they are in groups of two. Now, why are we doing this? We want them to radiate around the circle of the basket. Um, and we also need an odd number of spokes to do a continuous weave, which is the type of weave we're going to do today. So as you can see, I have eight. We are going to simply cut one of the groups off and keep going around. So I'm going to cut this one off pretty close to the weaver um, that we've already wrapped around at the base here. All set. So I'll definitely wanna make up for some of this space over here and that we can do as we continue to weave. Um, it'll be, it'll be a little bit easier as we get going. 
Um, but just as you go around the circle, just remember to kind of space them out evenly the way you want them. Be purposeful in where you place them as you use the weaver. So I'm going to go with an over under pattern um, all the way around and just continue to work my way up. And if at any time that you are weaving this, I soaked all of these pieces in water for about 20 minutes before I started. I wanted them to be really malleable, flexible, so that I'm um, so that they are less prone to breakage while I'm weaving. If at any time they start feeling dry, I'm going to take them back to the sink, dunk them in water again for a couple minutes, and and then keep going. But this is a really quick basket. You should be done in uh, you know between 10 and 20 minutes. So over under over under I think I missed one, so I'm going to go back. Here we go. All right, three. Under, over. Under. You just have to keep track of what you're doing. And your weaver should always be on the opposite side of the stakes of the spokes as they were on the previous row. You'll know if you have an issue if they start lining up consecutively. There we go. And as you can see, my spokes are starting to kind of go every which way here. Um, I am purposefully pulling these up a little bit to give the basket some shape. Yours may be flat for a few more rows out. That's okay. You'll just have a wider base at the bottom. And I'm not over pulling here. I want to make sure that it's not too tight. So, you know, you just put your thumb there, place it there, and then pull this around. That way you're not ending up with it across the middle of the basket. So you can see the shape of this is starting to come together quite nicely. It's pretty round. The bottom looks like that. So as you continue to weave, keep pulling your spokes straight as you go around the basket and keep pushing your weaver down so that it stays tight to the row beneath it and you'll end up with a really nice shape. I love the personality that the round reed has. Never quite does exactly what you want it to do, but it gets pretty close. Uh, it's just a little bit quirky and, and gives each of these baskets a, a real nice texture and a good feel. As you can see, it goes pretty quickly.
I'm just about getting to the end of my weaver. All right, I am going to go and give this a quick dunk. And I'm actually, I'm going to tuck this weaver before I do that, just so that it finishes a little bit in there. And I'm going to go and wet this and I will be right back for the rim uh, tying off. All right, so if you're comfortable with the shape of your basket, you're ready to start the rim. If you're not comfortable with the shape of your basket and you want it to be tighter, for instance, you can go back to the start and working your way around the basket in the way that you wove, counterclockwise or clockwise, um, you can just start to pull these and push all the excess all the way up around the basket and you'll probably get another row or two out of it depending on how loose it was. Um, but that really helps to tighten up um, the, the sides. You can also push all of these sides down. It's, it's called stacking. And this helps make a very tight basket. And you really just start from the bottom and work your way up one after the other. And make sure that all of the weavers are stacked on top of each other. All right, so I'm going to start with the rim. I'm going to take these two spokes and I'm going to fold them. Not, not fold, but just bend them behind the one to the right and then all the way down. Holding it with my thumb, I'm going to grab the next set, bring it behind the next one to the right and pull it down. Now you'll want it to be pretty consistent for tightness and you wanna make sure that it's bending and it's not breaking. If it's breaking, you need to go back and soak your reed but if I don't pull it tight, for instance, I will have one that's much higher than the other loops. So I'm going to pull it down tight and keep working all the way around the basket. All right, and then I'm at the last one. This was the first loop right here. I am going to go through that one and down as well. So I'm doing the same exact motion. Go through behind the back of it. Making sure it's pretty consistent with the other ones and then down. Okay, so go around once more, make sure we are good with all of these. That one was a little long. All right, now it's time to start tucking them back into the basket. So what we're doing here is we are going to grab two, pull them into the next hole over here underneath these two spokes. So in and pull it tight. In here, pull it tight. Right in there. And pull it tight. This starts to create almost like a braided look around the entire basket and keep going until you have all of them complete. Now, 
And this is where my weaver is, so I'm just gonna be careful and make sure that stays tucked in there. I'm going over the weaver, but under the spokes on the next segment and tucking that in. And this one is the final one. A little hard to find, but do the same exact thing. Go under the next set of spokes and through. Okay, so I have done all of them all the way around. You can do one of two things here. You can leave these and simply tuck all the ends in, depending on the length of them and, and how high up your weaver came. Some people would, you know, most people would never know the difference. They're all tucked nicely. I tend to go for this option. But if I have any that are just too long and sticking out, for instance, and they just won't fit right, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to look to where an appropriate spot is to cut it on the inside. And then I'm going to tuck that right back in there. I'm going to go back to the bottom. This was the tail from the original start of that weaver. And I'm just going to cut that as well right in there so that it finishes nice and neat. So that finishes up the bottom quite nicely too. All right, and now for shaping of the base of the basket. I want to just work my way around the basket, pushing ever so slightly. Make it firm, but not so much that you're going to break it until your basket sits on the table the way you'd like it. This ended up with a pretty flat base, so I am happy with that. These are really cute, easy to use. Uh, you know, they can spruce up the table for spring. Um, I have a few eggs here, some of this paper. You can put it in, put some of these eggs in, and voila, you're done. But that is the quick and easy nest basket. So that's it. We hope you had a great time making the basket with us today, and we can't wait to make another one with you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos, and check out our other kits on our website at letsmakebaskets.com. Uh, and we will see you again very soon. Take care.